Hello everyone, Hassan McBerry is here. This video is going to help you with your HTML forms. Uh, this is the first video. Um, as you can see, the quick setup, I create a folder here, week 11. It has one index HTML file here and two pictures, which is set, sorry, submit and reset. Uh, take a look, that's how I create them. I create them in Microsoft Word. I, snip, I use the snippy tools to actually capture the picture and save them to use it as a button later on. So that being said, let's pick a form. Let me close that really quick. All right, uh, let's go to the Google and search really quickly uh, uh, HTML form sample image. These are the forms in HTML. As you can see, some of them have tables like this guy here or some of them don't there's different format and different shape and size even the applied css here let's pick one and uh, try to create it and we'll add more uh to it uh, just one for a start i think this one um has the things we need it has a last name first name address let's analyze it city state we can add change that to province uh, zip code Country, this is a drop down menu. The phone numbers, email, date of birth. Uh, we have um, a radio buttons here. We can add a checkbox also for other things uh, like the gender. This is another drop down menu. Uh, maybe we can change that. And we have a comment section. All right. So, what I did, I opened this file using uh, Visual Studio Code. You can use anything you like. I have my uh, DOM. Or a structure ready to go uh, I can create it really quick again here we go and let's change that to week 11 right not a problem I also uh, run this through my local host so I have the page going on so I can check what I'm creating all right next we are going to start with our form tag to creating a form and inside that we are going to have our table right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my table tag here really quick and uh, we are going to create our first row TR like this and then if you take a look at the form, these are bolded. So the best option here for us is the th tag for the heading. And for the for that, I'm gonna use my label tag to label this. And let's just for first name. And we are going to type first name, right? Not a problem. All right, I'm gonna minimize this so that we can see better. All right. Then, so we have our TH, let's go for the context. Use the TD tag here, and uh, we are going to add our input tag inside of it. And um, we have to pay attention, we need four columns. So we're gonna go home span, a three, right there. So total of four, one, two, three, four. And here we're gonna set our input type. So we're gonna start with the text because the first name is a text um, and this is the best option for us here. Uh, let's go ID that as well, first name. And we're gonna have a name attribute to use it later on. All right, so that should be all right. Let's just organize them a little better because we're gonna copy paste that section again. So let's just test it out see i'm gonna refresh that okay i'm gonna say first and then refresh and you can see it shows up since this is a table let's have a little bit of css here we are going to do td uh, th and a table so we're gonna have some sort of borders uh, then we can see what we're doing here border let's say one pixel is enough solid uh, black and Let's save that and we're gonna collapse those border, 
labs right here. Probably don't help. Okay. That is this. Now let's put some margin and padding to make it more appealing. All right. Padding here, another 10. And if you want to change the font family or font size, let's go with the font family. Right there, Arial is good to use. Let's save that, let's see the changes. All right, so this is more like it. Since we have this going, I'm just gonna go copy paste that section, the TR and paste it three times. To save some time, save it, refresh. Here we go. I am going to move this a little bit here that you can see the old tags. There we go, so I'm in the table section. Uh, now let's go modify that, that would be the last name. Uh, just gonna change last name. Let's keep it the type text, last name, and last name, and this would be the password. Let's call it password. Password. I'm gonna pay attention, don't miss anything. All right, so let's stop, save that and take a look. All right, and forgot to change that. There we go, that's what we need to check. All right, password. Okay, let's see. All right, so for the password, we don't want the users or other people see the password. So the text type is not a really excellent choice. We're gonna change that. And we're gonna change the type to password. That hide the password so nobody can see it anymore. All right, so we're good to go. Let's move forward. Back to our sample form. Uh, let's have this one. All right, this one a bit more challenging. You're gonna drop the address here because we have a similar things here as a comment section. Uh, okay, so we have CD. There's two uh, headings or TH tags that I need. And we have two input via different size. We can control the size, by the way. I'm just gonna tell you in a second. All right, so let's have uh, the next order of business. We're gonna have a new row here. All right. I am going to copy this line for my headings. I'm gonna have two of them, one and two, right? One would be the city and the other one would be state or let's make it province. All right, so we're gonna change these also. City and uh, let's say province. All right, let's make it lowercase. Uh, let's take a look. Okay, so now I need a two other section. Let's uh, create the TD here for that. And another, or the next section, obviously. So we don't need to have the, this attribute here because this is four. All right, so let's uh, have an input here, obviously. All right, so we're gonna keep the type here, text. And let's ID that city. And put the name also city. All right, so that should be all right. Okay, and now I'm gonna take that and copy and paste it here. And this one, we're gonna keep the same thing. I'm just gonna change these to province.
Okay. All right, so this is extremely big. It's going out of hand. So we're gonna control the size here. Let's say for the province, we put the size for, start with two. All right, so we have one, two, three, four. Oh, I already had that tag. That's why it goes out of hand. Save that. All right. And let's keep the city the same size. You can change the size of these as you desire. Let's change those uh, first name and last name to bigger. Let's say 50 here. Save it. There we go. And let's do the same thing for the last name. And let's keep the password the same size. All right, let's move on. Let's uh, take a look. So we said we're not gonna do the address. These two are pretty much the same. Um, we can do the postal code um, or maybe skip that is the same thing. Let's go with to the country, which is you have your uh, drop down menu. All right, gonna minimize that. Too much space wasted. Gonna move this forward. So next row.